Hey, what do you think of these? Well, these look pretty cool, dude. <laughs> well, these are new ones, are they? These are. These are Genesis, uh, fully LED. They give you about a kilometre's worth of light. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, and this is the big thing, right? Um, do your homework on driving lights and you start finding out a fair bit of stuff. And apart from the fact that Light Force is made right here in Australia, is the world's best lighting system, has the best mounts, is the choice of all the professional truckies and anyone who really knows this stuff. Despite all that stuff, one of the things I found out when I was looking into the question of lights, and this is fascinating, because somewhere on the box here, there'll be a little line that says, oh yeah, reduced radio interference. Yeah, that matters if you've got it. I might have a stereo in this, I might need that. Yeah, it's gonna be quiet enough now. <laughs> But, see this here, reduced glare and driver fatigue. Now, one of the funny things about driving lights is um, at a certain colour, a certain intensity, this is something we talk about in photography, um, they will give you, they'll actually, the light that's reflected black, uh, back, which is what you see, is the wrong intensity, it will burn your eyes. Now, if you've ever switched your driving lights on, you know, and you're doing a 10 hour stretch in the middle of nowhere, um, you might find if you're using a cheaper light, um, a different style of light, that your eyes get tired really quickly. And this is because um, the light is the wrong temperature for the human eye. So. Light Force uh, so scientific about the way they go about things, and they're the ones who actually discovered this, which I, I think is fascinating. You know, we are leading the world in um, light research right here in Australia. It's because of the shooters, to some degree. Um, the intensity of the light makes a whole lot of difference to the yeah, shooters, yeah, yeah. you know, for a whole lot of reasons. And, of course, that's where the mounting systems and the light weight comes from, too, from the shooting background. Um, but you get a light like this, you can have those on for that 10 hour period and your eyes won't get tired. In fact, it'll be the opposite of that. You might get tired and your eyes might get tired accordingly, but the intensity of the light allows everything to be lit up at the right intensity so you don't burn your eyeballs out, have a bit of a brain snap there on the nullabore or something. That's why professional drivers only use light force. That reason alone, because as you probably realise, a lot of guys drive all night. You know, they take their five hour breaks, of course they do, but they drive during the night, cheaper fuel, less breakdowns, no traffic, blah, 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 whole got of good reasons. We got the um, wiring harness. Have you had a look at this, Rich? Yeah, yeah I've had it out, mate. I've just uh, started fitting it up on the, on the vehicle over there. And how does it go for you? Is well, it... we're going to have to incorporate it with the, the new loom that we're building for it, but yeah, we'll yeah. get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty much plug and play, isn't it? Yeah, out of the box, yeah. like out of the box with the kits they are. Yeah, you can yeah. simply uh, wire them up yourselves if you know a bit of uh, twelve volt. Yeah. Don't blame him if he sounds a bit rough. He's put in a couple of midnight <laughs> nights on me truck, and a bit of a midnight night finishing off the beer in the beer fridge, from what I can <laughs> see. Yeah. Well, you got to. Well, mate, you got to. You got to. Oh, so what are these things then? These little ones, the little. <laughs> These so are beautiful, aren't they? They're yeah. beautiful. They're the Rock 20s, aren't they? These are Rock 20s. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's enough light in these. That I think if you've looked, you've probably seen, I use these on the back of Milo, mm -hmm. and I did a, a nighttime camera shoot to show how effective they are. Um, two of these on the back of the truck is going to light the place up that even with the 12 HT mm. going flat Bicky in reverse, I won't hit trees. <laughs> well, so, so. I might still hit trees, but at least I'll have a chance of seeing them. And we'll run a couple of these on the sides too, yeah, mate, as so, yeah, side lights. Activated from that little yeah. switch pack and all that. Ah, yeah. oh, the little switch pack. The, little switch pack. the Lancaster bomber panel. <laughs> yes! Going to drop a few bombs with these on. Actually, I'll probably go walk further to drop bombs. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> It's amazing how much light you get out of a little light. Now, one of the um, things that's really important to know about things like trouble lights, you can get little work lights all over the place, all right? And you can spend more time fitting them than they're worth buying. And then they're gonna last six months, a year, you know, a year and a half, and then they'll pop, fizzle, you buy another one, you gotta rewire it, all that stuff. These. I've never had an issue with them at all. You know, you get what you pay for. These aren't even that expensive. They're just the best. So um, I've got a couple on the front of my old BM. They light the road up like you wouldn't believe. They're, they're better than the high beam on the old motorcycle. Um, 
Can't say enough about them. Waterproof, just fantastic. I better get on and fit them then, eh? You had, mate, because I need to get down to the high country real quick. <laughs> You're coming with me too, yeah, aren't get you? Get out of the box then, yeah, mate. Yeah. Are I'm, you? I'm, I'm game for it, yeah. Right, eh? go. Better get a lock on the angle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate, let's go. Moving right along, no point having a good bar without some good lights. I've got the best in the business, obviously. I've got my light force, but I've also got the um, little 20s on the side. These are beautiful, these light force rock lights. I use a couple of these on my motorbikes. Um, they are almost the ultimate small, but very powerful and reliable light, just like any other light force product for that matter.